Yeah, I'm ready to go. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Who sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we venerate, the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a voice from heaven speak to me. Here are my two witnesses. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. If anyone wants to harm them, fire comes out of their mouths and devours their enemies. In this way, anyone wanting to harm them is sure to be slain. They have the power to close up the sky so that no rain can fall during the time of their prophesying. They also have power to turn water into blood and to afflict the earth with any plague as often as they wish. When they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss will wage war against them and conquer them and kill them. Their corpses will lie in the main street of the great city, which has a symbolic name Sodom and Egypt where indeed the, their Lord was crucified. Those from every people, tribe, tongue, and nation will gaze on their corpses for three and a half days, and they will not allow their corpses to be buried. The inhabitants of the earth will glow over them and be glad and exchange gifts because these two prophets tormented the inhabitants of the earth. But after the three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them. When they stood on their feet, great fear fell on those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven say to them, Come up here. So they went up to heaven in a cloud as their enemies looked on. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, which subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O oh God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-stringed lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection, came forth and put this question on Jesus, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, If someone's brother dies leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman, but died childless. And the second and third married her, and likewise all the seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. Now at the resurrection, whose, life, whose wife will this woman be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and remarry, but those who de are deemed worthy to attain the, to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels, and they are the children of of God, because they are the ones who will rise. But the dead will rise, even Moses made known in the passage about the bush, when he called Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And he is not God of the dead, but of the living. For to him all are alive. Some of the scribes said in reply, Teacher, you have answered well and they will no longer dare to ask him anything. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the presentation of Mary, our Blessed Mother. As on this feast of our Mother Mary, we, we follow her example, we reflect on how we follow her example. What our mother did was, no matter what in her whole life, ever since, even before Christ was born, she pointed to her son. When the angel, angel Gabriel came to announce that she would be pregnant with the Son of God, she said yes, and she pointed to her son. And throughout her whole life, when Christ was alive, she pointed to her son. She pointed others to her son, not just herself. And that is the example that we follow, to be like our mother Mary and point to our son, to her son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Our gospel today tells us that what matters is in heaven. The heaven is what truly matters. And that's what Mary knew. She knew what, the things that are very important were not of this world, but were of the heavenly world. And she, she let nothing in this world stop her from worshiping her God, from loving her God, from giving glory to her Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to our God. And so that is the example we must follow. And so today on this uh, feast of the presentation of our Blessed Mo Mother Mary, we reflect on how we can be more like that and how we can be like her, always point to her Son, always point others and ourselves to Jesus, and ultimately, because we do that because we know what is important. What is the most important is not things of this world, but things of the heavenly world where our Lord Jesus Christ reigns in heaven. <clears throat> Today's Mass is being offered for the special intentions of Hilda Nicewander. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. 
fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord set a sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good of our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people, with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request may be made vain, through Christ our Lord, amen. going through the Mass a little quickly um, because my stomach is not feeling well. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. And to praise and bless your name and glorify your name with the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by overshadowing the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and by, without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through whom the angels praise your majesty, dominions, authority, your powers, and trembles before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. <sighs> Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray for by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall. They may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, He took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the blood of the chalice of my blood. I believe the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, and we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now ready that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Now we're making an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a quick announcement that our weekend mass schedule for um, tonight's vigil and tomorrow's Sunday masses um, have changed because we are back in the purple tier, if you have not heard yet. Uh, Ventura County is back in the purple tier, which is the most, um, the, the worst, most restrictive tier. Um, if you're interested in the mass schedule, um, please check out our parish website or our um, parish Facebook, Facebook page. And, um, and the mass times are different, and they will be outdoors like before. So if you're coming to mass, 
Uh, please bring your own chair, a uh, lawn chair or something is perfect. Um, otherwise, um, the mass times are a little different, so I ask that you check the Paris website for that information. And also, I'm doing okay. I just um, need to, need to um, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be fine after mass in case anyone was worried. Thank you. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.